A startup disk is used to launch an operating system from an external disk or a pen drive. When you install Ubuntu, you probably use the startup disk. This utility can be used to create another Ubuntu startup disk for a friend or to try out other GNU Linux distributions from a CD or a pen drive. First, you will need to download an ISO image of the distribution you want. If you want to make a bootable CD or DVD, insert the disk in the drive and then right-click on the ISO disk image you downloaded and choose the option Write to Disk. Alternatively, you could launch Brazero, that is the default application for burning CDs, and select Burn Image. Then choose the ISO image of the distribution you want. Make sure to burn the image and not just make a copy of the ISO file. To install the bootable distro in a USB drive, launch Startup Disk Creator from the Dash Home. Select the source disk image that you downloaded. Select the USB drive you want to start up from and click on Make Startup Disk. Once this is done, you can insert the pen drive in a computer and restart to launch the system that is in your startup disk. If the startup disk does not load during the boot process, you might have to change the order of boot. The instructions may be different depending on the vendor of your computer, so check out on internet how to do this on your computer model in case you're having trouble. There's also a message that appears during boot telling you what key you need to press to enter the boot preferences. Sometimes the startup disk creator that comes with Ubuntu does not recognize some other distribution's disk images. There's also another application that can make bootable USB drives for you. It's called Unet Bootin and it can be downloaded from the software center. It is very similar to the startup disk creator. Select the disk image, the startup drive, and click OK. Unet Bootin can also handle the download of the ISO file for you. At the top of the window, select the distribution you want to try, the disk you want to use, and click OK. Next, we will see how to use a virtual machine.